don't know. I don't think it's too loud. If anything, the shirt's understated. We're rolling. Oh, just cut that in editing. I don't edit. Hi there. I'm Scott Stanton, the Tombstone Tourist, and we're in the lovely town of Wilton, New Hampshire. You ever notice all the towns I go to, they're lovely? Anyway, we're in their only town cemetery, Laurel Hills Cemetery. And you know how I always complain about there's no rock stars? Well, my lovely videographer Karen and I had to go all the way up to New Hampshire to find the ultimate rock star. I am so excited to be here. If you were a child of the 70s, you know this band. They did Fool for the City. They did uh, Stone Blue and of course, Slow Ride, Take It Easy. Awesome, we are here with Rod Price, the lead guitarist, lead slide guitarist of the band Foghat. So bring it over here, Karen. Let's show everybody his grave there. Now, how did Foghat start? Well, first of all, there was a band called Savoy Brown, and three of the members, Lonesome Dave Peverett on uh, lead guitar and vocals, uh, Tony Stevens, bass player, and Roger Earl on drums, they decided to recruit Rod Price from another band. So it's two, th three quarters uh, Savoy Brown and a, and a great solo artist. And they hit it right out the gate in 1972. Their albums were selling great, but when the uh, Fog Hat Live album came out, double platinum. They were selling out stadiums, including Memorial Stadium in Los Angeles. They were huge. Well, in 75, the bass player, Tony, he had enough. Three years of constant touring and recording. And you have to remember in the 70s, bands were on the road 10, 11 months out of the year, one month in the studio, out again. He was exhausted, had enough, okay? After uh, 79, 80, uh, both um, uh, Lonesome Dave Peverett and uh, Mr. Rod Price here took off for uh, other pastures, but they regrouped eventually together, and uh, by 1999 it was kind of all over. Oddly enough, during the MTV Acceptance Award, Jim Carrey, dressed as a roadie in character, a little bit like Jim Morrison, came up and gave this rockin' acceptance speech, and he chastised uh, MTV by saying, would it kill you to play a little fog hat? Yeah. Well, Rod Price, Lonesome Dave, were watching, they called up their agent, had a great laugh, but it caused a resurgence in sales and the epic fog hat black t-shirt that all of us wore during the 70s and 80s. Now, after a while, uh, after the reunion, Rod, uh, retired to here to Wilton, where he raised a family, had a lovely wife, and uh, believe it or not, he was doing his own CDs and he was giving guitar lessons. So if you lived in Wilton, you could get guitar lessons from one of the greatest slide players ever. Guy playing stadiums, how awesome is that? Well, sadly, in 2005, uh, Rod had a heart attack in his home and fell down the stairs in his house and died there in the house. It was quite a shock. He was only 57 years old, I believe. So that was uh, terrible. Um, the other member to pass away five years earlier was Lonesome Dave Peverett. He died of uh, kidney cancer. And sadly, his wife died several months later of the exact same disease. That's a whole nother story. He's buried down in Florida. But, you know, thank you to Rod and all the guys, but Bog Hat is still on the road. And you know what they say? Have you heard the, that great cover band for Fog Hat? They're called Fog Hat. It's Roger Price, the drummer, and he's recreated Fog Hat with a bunch of players. Now look, they're great players. They're trying, but come on, if you're just the drummer, you're not Fog Hat anymore. Call it something else. But you know what? Keep the music alive. Adam Lambert's covered Fog Hat. All these other great artists have covered Fog Hat. So whether you're a child of 70s, 80s, or 90s, you're still gonna get Fog Hat forever and ever. And thank you, Rod Price. Slow ride, come on, guitar solo, take it easy. Everybody, you know the words, come on. No, no, nothing, nothing. Ah. Uh.